We're getting our first look into San Diego police reports that paint an ugly picture when it comes to enforcement and race. A new California law went into effect on January 1st that led to the release of never before seen reports that reinforce accusations of racial profiling and excessive force. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes and our investigation team obtained those documents and analyzed the information. We want to warn viewers that what you're about to see is difficult to watch. Get out. Get out. So you. You have no idea. This video shows excessive force used on a juvenile in March of 2020, and it is just one of many incidents coming to light after the release of SDPD's police misconduct reports. Advocates are glad these incidents are now being made public, but they also worry about what they show. I often have to worry about my children being out on the streets um, and potentially being stopped by law enforcement. What would make you believe that because your children are black that they would have an issue with law enforcement here in San Diego? Uh, because of Senate Bill 16's release of, of uh, uh, police personnel files uh, that show uh, that they have discriminated against uh, individuals who were black. CBS 8 scoured through these reports and found many racially charged accusations against the San Diego Police Department. In February of 2020, an off-duty SDPD officer was arrested in Old Town after officers on the scene say he was drunk, making racial slurs and trying to start a fight, and did indeed say, quote, I'm a cop and I kill the N-word for a living. San Diego police, if you're in here, announce yourself. In another case, from January 2021, an SDPD sergeant was overheard saying his canine only likes dark meat. That's a racial epithet, and he used it more than once. Someone saying canines only bite dark meat still left in a supervisor's position. You look at Senate Bill 16's release on SDPD's website, and you can tell that the worst of the worst were left to patrol and harm people who look like us. Another finding, a cardboard cutout of rapper Rick Ross in an SDPD lineup saying, every day I'm hustling to the beat of the rapper's hit song, asking officers to sign up for overtime. What's your estimation of their rollout of SB 16 and their compliance? Um, I am finding more and more uh, that there are plenty of officers whose uh, per uh, personnel records, disciplinary records, uh, and complaints were not uh, released uh, and are being withheld. CBS 8 has reached out to SDPD several times for comment on this investigation, but so far, San Diego police have not responded. This is simply why we continue to ask as a whole collective of activists and community members that the police does not police itself. Release their tickets, release their stops, release their use of force. Make it public. Let us know exactly how far the discrimination goes. What they tell me when I ask for public records requests is that it is in the best interest of the community not to release. Why do they say that oh, it's because in the it's going to be very damning? We have a job to do. Michael Sierra Aravalo, an assistant sociology professor from the University of Texas at Austin, says race is a problem with policing because the history of the institution for a lot of the country started with slave patrol. That is the unfortunate an undeniable history of the origins of the institution of policing in the United States. So officers today are not responsible for that history, but they are responsible, in my view, for the consequences of that history. Michael admits lack of transparency or not taking interviews or answering questions actually work against already overloaded officers who are often understaffed, overworked, and underpaid. And for most officers working today in 2023, Officers get saddled with all these broken pieces and they're told to pick them up with limited tools and limited resources. How do we fix this, Tasha? Oh, yes, um, zero tolerance. You know how they have zero tolerance on criminals in the community? Mm -hmm. They need to have that same feeling about their own officers. It's very hard um, when you have children and people can do whatever they want to them. No matter how respectful your children are, a law enforcement officer can come and beat them to death. Do you feel safe? I do not.